if I have a message to Canada, I would say don't open the door because it is not controllable. The door is open, it will go more and more wide open. That, that's what we experiment here in Belgium. We've had a protection against physicians killing people for more than 2,000 years because of the, the Hippocratic tradition. And we have now arrived at a moment in history when we've opened Pandora's box uh, and the inevitable danger is that physicians become a threat to their patients. Well, in the end, they showed no empathy at all for my pain. They showed no empathy for what I had to go through. And it's even worse. I think that the physician who killed my mother, he has a big, big responsibility towards me and towards my children. I truly think that this has nothing to do with medicine. My advice is, is a, don't go there. Why? Because you open Pandora's box in terms of practice of killing as though it is a normal part of medicine. If Canada one day is to vote uh, for the euthanasia law, I mean they should invest a huge budget in palliative care, in uh, the formation of volunteers, because unbearable pain is a very relative uh, concept. This is the way my grandmother felt about it. It is the way that people who uh, are on the vulnerable side of the spectrum sometimes give as a reason for, let's say, wanting to end their life, the fact that they don't want to be a burden to others. And this, this shows you that by opening the possibility of euthanasia, you open a sense of burden. You see, before it becomes a legal option, caring for somebody who needs care is just the human thing you do. But once they have the opportunity to choose to let their lives be ended, they're not doing so is to choose to burden their next of kin. That's unfair.